First of all, how did you get the role you got on Secret Life? Well, um, I auditioned for the role um, in its first season. Uh, the show had already, you know, been up and running at that point, and uh, they decided that they wanted to introduce the character of Ruben Enriquez, who plays Adrian Lee's dad, into the show. And um, I auditioned just like anybody else. Uh, when when the breakdown came out for the role, uh, I was brought in uh, to meet with Brenda Hampton, who was the executive producer. And uh, I had a very good audition. Uh, we had a nice connection. And, uh, you know, she felt that, um, that I'd be the right guy to play Ruben, <laughs> her dad. Um, so that's basically how, how everything transpired. And, and it's kind of cool because it, it happened pretty quickly. You know, I, I went in, I read with her, I mean, I uh, read for her, and um, I pretty much got the call like a couple of days later um, asking me if I would uh, love the part, and I said, absolutely. <laughs> okay, awesome. So being on the show, like, what has been, like, the craziest moment you've had? The craziest moment I have had. Um, <laughs> well, uh, there was one time. Uh, you mean like within the show or just in general? Just in general. Just in general. Um, I had. Uh, I was on my way to work, and I had a morning call, and uh, there was a really, really bad accident on the freeway, and I was going to be very late to my call time in the morning for the show. So, uh, you know, I was scrambling, uh, trying to get to work in on time, and everybody over there was assuring me that it's okay, we understand, don't worry about it. But it seemed like one thing, one thing after another was going wrong. First I had, like, a little bit of traffic, then it moved, then I had an accident, not me personally, but it was an accident up ahead, it affected my driving. And then, uh, since we were at a different location at that particular day, I got a little lost, <laughs> so that was a pretty crazy day, and then you basically have to go in and do your job and be good, and it's a, it was a little stressful, but um, after I had some time to sort of like take a few breaths, <laughs> relax, it turned out to be okay, but uh, it was a little scary at first with uh, you know all three of those things happening at the same time. I thought there was like some kind of a full moon outside or something. <laughs> Okay, so with the new season of Secret Life coming up, um, do you appear on some episodes? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. Definitely. Mm hmm And so, also, um, you've guest starred on a number of different shows, so what has been your favorite show to be on? Oh, wow. That's a tough, that's a toughie. Um, I would have to say, um, as a guest star... Um, it was when I got a chance to work on 24, um, mainly because I got to work very closely with John Boyd, who's one of my favorite actors, and um, that was a real treat. Obviously, I really respect his work. And um, on top of that, in, in addition to working with him, he was actually really nice. You know, we got to converse a lot while we were on set and off camera. And, uh, you know, he was also very complimentary, which, which was a real, real treat for me when, you know, he said I, he said he thought I was a good actor and he enjoyed working with me. And, uh, you know, he even gave me some great advice to just sort of like, you know, always, always stay true to yourself, always stick to it and, um, you know, always go for, for the best with regard to your future and, and acting. So I thought that was a real, real nice treat. Okay. Awesome. And, 24, this is the last season they have said, and you were on season 7, so what do you think of the show now that it's coming to an end of the, and that you've been on the show? Well, first of all, it's, uh, it's a real honor to be uh, part of such, a, such an amazing, great hit show. Uh, you know, when you think of a show uh, going on for eight seasons, you know, it sort of has legendary status. Um, but, you know, it, um, in addition to running for eight seasons, it's also a really, really fantastic show. I mean, it's, uh, it's mostly the same people, whether you're talking about cast or crew, who have been doing it for the whole time. So they really know what they're doing. It's like a well-oiled machine. And, um, you know, they've been doing it so long that, 
that it's they know what to do. They know what works. They know what what um, what makes the show really good, and they continue season after season to put out a good quality drama. Um, but you know, eight seasons is uh, is nothing to sneeze at, also. And I think um, you know sometimes uh, shows end for any number of reasons. Sometimes you know it's it's just basically run its course, or people want to do different projects. But uh, eight seasons is something to be really proud of. And uh, who knows? Maybe they're looking to sort of uh, finish up on top, which they certainly will. Okay, awesome. And so you said earlier that John Voight gave you some advice when you were on the show. What's been the best advice you've ever been given? Oh, boy. Um, honestly, I have to say uh, the best advice I've ever gotten was from my parents and my dad in particular. Um, it off earlier on in my career. Um, I struggled a little bit, especially like when I got out of school because I was kind of green. I mean, out of college, and I was kind of green. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of trying to be successful in this business is, is a lot of disappointments and failures um, initially uh, before you start getting, you know, the victories and the wins and the good roles. Uh, but I really, really respect my dad and always telling me to never give up. Um, you know, he knew I had something special, and uh, he knew that as frustrating as it was for me at times, he thought that um, if I really was just tenacious and stuck to it, that eventually things would, um, good things would come my way and good things would fall into place, and they certainly did. So I'm kind of glad I listened to him and um, sort of never gave up on, on achieving my dream. Okay, awesome. And um, also... What other projects do you have going on that are going to be coming up? Well, I um, I just recently, not just recently, but um, a, a film that I did called The Ode uh, has just been released onto the um, uh, festival film circuit. Um, it was just uh, premiered at the Beverly Hills Film Festival as well as the Riverside Film Festival. Um, it will probably do a few other film festivals, uh, before the hope, uh, the hope is that uh, we'll get a, a distributor and it'll be released um, uh, in major theaters all over. So uh, that's the latest project that I have coming out. I'm really excited about it, and it's uh, it's a really good project. Um, it talks about the story of a young man who makes a journey from Africa to the United States and how he makes that adjustment and um, sort of like you know, adjust to life in the United States. Um, he also has a very strained relationship with his mother, and he looks to, like, heal the relationship and heal himself. And in the process, his mother helps him to, like, realize himself and how he can become a better person. And uh, basically, I play one of the friends of the lead character in the movie, so it, it's kind of a real, um, real honor for me to be involved in that project. Okay, awesome. And lastly, what social media networks can people find you on? Uh, well, you can find me on Facebook. I have a fan page there, uh, as well as any general information and projects that I've already done and upcoming projects. You can find me on imdb.com. <laughs>